In this video, we are going to talk about how to interface Vintech CMT 3071 HMI with Delta PLC 12 SC. In our last video, we have seen how we can interface Vintech HMI with Siemens PLC and now we are doing with the Delta PLC. Just to show you how easy it is to connect the HMI with various PLCs. Alright, so it also supports direct address mapping, which we will see later in the video. So let's see what we are going to actually see in this video. So I'm going to show you a small glimpse of uh, what I have made for you. And then I will show you how I did that. So I will quickly start my simulation. My PLC 12 SE is linked to my Vintech HMI, but also I can simulate the logic using inbuilt simulator. So now I'm pr uh, proceeding with the simulation. So you can see here, this is my PLC logic, very simple. I'm just running a timer and that's my HMI screen. So currently it's having a three seconds of when I start my HMI, the start button, and after three seconds, my motor is on. That's it, it's a very simple logic. But we will see how we can quickly tag this uh, PLC in our HMI, all right? So let's see what are the various steps involved in designing this HMI. First of all, you need to see what are the hardware required. We need Delta PLC 12 SE, of course, because we are linking a PLC. We need an HMI. I'm using ZMT3071 model. And we need, we need an Ethernet cable because my PLC supports Ethernet. My HMI supports Ethernet. So it's very easy to link these together so we can use standard Ethernet cable. Besides that, you need some software, EasyBuilder Pro, which is free of cost. You can download it from the Winetech website. We need, it, we need this to design the HMI. And you need ISP soft software. This is for PLC and you need, this is also free. And we are going to write a PLC logic in that. Okay. Now step one, configure the PLC and write the program. Now in the PLC, we have to define the IP address. So the IP address for my PLC currently, you can see here, this is the IP address. And I can also show you here. If I go to my IP configuration, and here you can see this is the IP address I have and that's the port number. So you should know what is the IP address of your PLC and what's the port number because we're going to put that in the HMI later. So every PLC, if you're, if, if, if you're not using a Delta PLC, you might have another PLC with Ethernet configuration. You just need to know the IP address and the port number. This is very important. Secondly, you have to design the logic in your PLC program. So if I show you my logic, which is quite simple, I'm using a memory bit M0 which is turning on a timer and timer tag is T0 and the value in the timer goes into a data register which is D0. So D0 push the time into the timer. And then we have T0 which will monitor the time inside the timer and then I have an output Y0. This is a basic logic, but further later in the video, I will also show you a complex logic and how we can easily monitor that. So that's the basic logic which we need. So let's proceed. And the second step is we need to add device in Easy Builder Pro. And we have to make sure that our Ethernet cable is connected to our PLC. So in this video, you will see that this, this PLC is connected, Delta PLC, and that's my Siemens PLC, which I used before in my last video. So in this time, we are controlling this Delta PLC with our HMI. So now we have to add the device in our Easy Builder Pro software, which we will do that later. All right, we have to add the device this is the second step. And then once you add the device, you have to design the screen. And after you design the screen, you have to make some tags, which will link to your Delta PLC. That, that's quite easy. And once you are done with that, you have to download the screen and you have to test it. So let's do that now. I will go back to my to my, this is the Delta PLC, you know, and this program is already running inside the PLC. I will just go to, okay, and now I go online. So I'm online now. I know my IP address, I know my port. So I will go to my HMI. So this was I already made, so I will delete that because I will design it for you. And in system parameter, this was my device, I will delete it. Okay, so my HMI, HMI project is open and I have nothing here, just some basic text. So the first step is I have to add a device. So I will click on new device and I will select the Delta plugin here or Delta model. So here you can see Delta electronics and these are the various models available. Now the PLC which I'm using is 12SA which supports ethernet. So I will select this option because this is the ethernet option, select this one. And then you go to the settings. In the settings, you have to enter your IP address. And the IP address which I have is 
108. Okay, this is very important for the communication. And the port number, it's by default 502 because the WineTech HMI software, which is Easy Builder Pro, they have linked many PLCs, more than 300 PLCs with some default port number. So you don't have to worry about it. If you don't know it, you will get it automatically once you add the plugin. So 502 is the port number, click OK, and then you click OK as well. Now your device is added. Very, very, very easy. You know, you just have to select your model, the IP address, that's it. Now the device is added. Now I will take the first button to start to start my timer, so which is M0. So the button I can take from the proj, you can also take it from here, or if you go to the objects, you have all the objects listed here. So I will take a toggle switch, and this toggle switch you can see by default I see M0, which is quite okay because uh, this is the starting address, that's why I got, I got M0 automatically. But you can also select counter, set bits, timer, your X input. But I need M0, so M0 is fine for me. And I can click OK and click here once and I have this button. You can also make it bigger, so let's make it bigger this time. So that's my button M0. And if I want to write a text here, which is quite easy, just go to this text comment and write your text here. Let's write start stop and click OK. So this, this is my text. So easy. Now next is I have to energize the timer and the timer has a time inside which is T0 which is showing the current time. So I have to take a meter in this case. So we'll go back here and now in the animation or in the chart I get the meter display. So once you select the meter you will get this window and let's see the minimum and the maximum. Uh, 50 is fine for me and the timer is T0 again coming by default. And if you want to customize it, the style you can do from here, this is style one, and you can change the color, full circle, how much rotation you want, but I'm quite happy with my custom design, okay? And if you want to show some ranges, you can do that. For example, the low limit is zero to 20, so this you can see this purple color is showing up to 20, but I can also use it, let's say yellow, and 25 to 38, if I say it's my optimum range, I can make it green, and if this is more critical range, if I don't want to put this much time, let's make it red. So it's totally up to you how you want to define the ranges. So this is just an example. Click OK and this is your timer. And you can also make it bigger. Oops. Okay, looks nice. So I will just quickly copy paste the text that I can also do. And I can write current time. So this is my current time in my timer. Okay. Now I want to I want to enter the time from the HMI, which I'm doing from D0, okay? So for that, I will take a numeric entry and you will find it here, numeric, very easy. So you can see that D0 is by default because the software knows that it's a data register because numeric entry goes into a data register, so it choose D0 by default. So let's click okay and I put it here. So that's my D0, you know, directly linked. What is next? The motor. So the motor is my digital output. You see Y0 is my digital output. So what I will do is I will go back here and select a bit lamp because bit lamp is only on and off. So select this here and if you just want a bit lamp and without any pictures that's fine. So the address is Y0 but I would like to have some shapes here. So if I, if I go here and click on picture library you can see many shapes. So for example if you just want a simple lamp I will see here this is a simple lamp. This is zero is the off state. And if it's on, it will show illumination like this. But I'm pretty happy with my animation. So I will take some motor and you can see the motor animations here. This is a state zero and that's the state one. So it has a built in animation. You don't have to do anything, which looks pretty nice. So I'll select this one and my tag is Y zero just to confirm and click OK. And you have this motor here. It looks very nice. So this is how you can quickly tag your PLC tags in the HMI. And let's take a trial. So I'm going to run it in a simulation mode. So in the online simulation, I run simulation on the software, but it is linked to my PLC. That's possible. So you can see here that the input button is on. If I turn it off, this goes back to zero. And time is 30, which is three seconds. So if I put, let's say 50, that is my five second. And you can see that once I take 50 and press enter, this 50 goes here. So when I start, 
this is running and this is reading the time from here and once it's 50 you see the motor is running it's a very nice animation so once i'm sure that my project works nice it's time to download it to the hmi so going back to my easy builder pro and i will just click download once you download it will recompile the project and then you have to select the hmi it should be in the network and just click download this will take a few seconds and on the hmi you will notice it says stop project now and this is stopping the earlier project and now it is downloading the new project and once it's downloaded we will see and actuate this so i would prefer to open my plc screen window okay it started so i will close this window and i will open my plc project now you can see that here the buttons will appear in a few seconds we have start stop we have current time and we have input time you can also write a text here you can see that it's the set time you can also do that so currently the time is 50 you can also see in the plc i will select start and the meter will run and once it's 50 the motor will run so this is exactly what we see in the simulation so simulation is quite uh, realistic simulation which actually give you an idea how your project is going to be when you once you download in the hmi so once again you run the input after five seconds the output is on so it's quite easy quite flexible how to link your delta plc with winetech hmi with direct addressing now i come back to my presentation so this we have already seen and now we are going to show you an example of palletizer logic. So I made a complex programming, a little bit complex than what we did before. And we are going to load the palettes. And in this edge of my example, I will show you what more you can do instead of just pressing the buttons and seeing the animation. In this palletizer logic, what we are going to do, we are creating the palettes with layers of boxes you can see in this image. And in this screen, which I've made in Vintech HMI, we are monitoring the status and we are entering the recipe. Okay, so let me start giving you an idea about our environment. So this is the environment we have. I have made it in a factory IO software and we are going to monitor this whole process in our HMI. Okay, so if you see in my HMI, I've made some buttons and these are some indicators and this is another indicator and this is a drop down drop down menu and this is a pneumatic indicator and then you have a status using a slider and I have some text here some another dynamic text here more text here in a tabular form and we have some more dynamic text here so we will see what is going to happen and what this HMI can do just except using some buttons and animation we can also have some dynamic text which is also a very great feature so let's start with the simulation so I will go here and I will initialize my panel initially you can see that this is at state zero and if you see in the hmi it is at manual okay so let's make it automatic now you can see that my state has changed changed to automatic and now i have to enter the recipe so if you see here this is my drop down menu and i will select let's say one layer i need one layer of boxes and how many pallets required so we press here and i say i need three pallets so three pallets of one layer and you can see there there is an automatic calculation total boxes required 18 current boxes count is zero boxes left is 18 which means you know, how much boxes left to be delivered and then you have total pallets required three current pallet count zero and pallet left is three and here you can see some status that my box loading steps are ready pallet loading steps are ready so we have two steps here if you see here from the side we have we have pallets coming from the bottom so that's one step so i'm counting the steps and the boxes coming from the top that is another steps okay and now if you want to see the plc program which is here it's a bit complicated as i said you can make complicated logic and you can monitor that on the hmi as well but i will not going to explain you this this is not the part of this video here we are just going to see how to how what else you can do in the hmi Okay, so I have already downloaded this HMI logic. My PLC logic is downloaded. I'm just going to start this. So I'm going back to the panel again. This is set to automatic. Pretty good. And I'm just going to start it. So once I started it, you can notice that operation is started. And on the HMI, you can see that this indicator is on, which means it started. You can see the status here. This is a dynamic status, which is showing you the current steps, what is going on. 
For example, pusher pushing the boxes, feeder conveyor feeding boxes, and ready to load the boxes and waiting for boxes. This is the below step. So I'm just showing you how you can have the various dynamic text on the HMI. And you can see here the recipe progress. And if you see here, currently our first layer is ready and the next layer is coming. So you can see the progress of your recipe because we are making three pallets. So you can monitor how much process is completed in a scale. This is one of the way you can monitor that. You can also do it in a meter form, but however you like it, you can do that. And here you can see that the status is running and my second layer is completed and you can see the update status here. Current boxes count is 12, left is six because one layer needs six boxes. So you can see the current status of boxes left and here you can also see the pallet left. So one pallet is left. So you can see all the status of your operation on the HMI directly here. This was the idea of, of showing you what more you can do with the HMI. You may have more ideas. You can implement that using these available objects. And these are not the only objects. There are many more objects available in the Easy Builder Pro software. So you now you have seen that three pallets are loaded. So no more boxes required, no more pallets required. Recipes 100% completed because we have made three pallets. And once the pallets is going to the exit conveyor, you can see that <clears throat> the status will be updated and it says recipe completed. So the user will know from the HMI what is happening in the plant. So you get get all the information in your HMI. So this was the idea of showing you what you can do with this HMI and how you can monitor various things inside the logic. If you need to see more about this logic, you can check, there is a link in this video description where I have shown you in a time-lapse form how this, pro how this project is working. So this is about a small example of palletizer logic. And in the end, I would say Winding HMI supports more than 300 PLC drivers. So if you have any PLC, just connect and explore now. If you need more information, you can go to this link www.winetech.com and this link is also given in the video description. And thank you for watching. You can subscribe me for more video lessons and I wish you a very nice day.